Hey guys, I'm just popping up to the off license um, to pay a couple of my uh, bills. I've got to do the council tax and I'm just going to pop some money on the gas and electric. Um, and I'm going to do that with the money that I've earned from Tesco's. I um, went out and worked for, that I worked my arse off for. And I've made a little list of the things I've run out of, um, like bread and cat meat. Um, yeah, because um, I like to keep my cat fed because he's well looked after. And I thought I'd have a little walk as well, because having a walk helps with your mental health. That's mental health. And mental health, depression, anxiety, panic attacks, anxiety attacks, depression, all comes under mental health and I'm buying these few little things like cat meat with the money that I worked my ass off for and because my managers at Tesco's understand mental health so, right, so I'm back home now. I'm sorry I look a mess. Yeah. Um, yeah, so it's just, I just popped up to the off license and I had to put gas and electric on. I had to pay council tax. So I thought while I was there, I just thought I'll pick up a few bits. You know, um, with my wages that I worked for. Yeah. And um, I... Just stuff that I've um, run out of, really. And I've just, it does look like um, some of it is crap. But it's just snacky bits as well. I like to have like snacks in the house. Um, some people like to call it crap, but it's just snacks. Because I do have meals, I do have, um, whether it's, I don't know, mac and cheese, or it's a jacket potato with salad or something, or pasta or something, I always like to have like a little treat, you know, like a bit of cake or some biscuits, who doesn't, you know? And when they have uh, wet their arse off uh, for it, and they are buying it with the money that they've worked for, then why not? So, I made sure that my kitty cat, hello Talene, moo, mm. he just heard me, yeah, um, my gentleman, you don't want baked beans, do you darling, no, so I bought both 85p and 89p, meaty chunks in gravy with turkey and lamb, and then a salmon one, so two of those, I thought they were both 85p, but they weren't. They only had one of those, so. Um, then I bought myself a tin of beans, because I like doing beans on toast. And that's 69p. Then I bought, this is vegetarian. This is a original pot noodle. I only bought the one. So um, if I want something warm and filling, but I don't want to cook, 
um, I class this as a dinner, so yeah. Um, bought another powder. I swear by this. If you've got a rash, just put this on and um, it dries your skin up. So yeah, it works for me. So some baby powder. I'm sweating out. I tried to get the cheapest. I got, um, I'm not sure how much the powder was. How much was the pot noodle? I can't remember. Oh, 149 it was. Anyway, this is 139, a cheap bolognese sauce. I've got some dry pasta still in the cupboard. So I'm gonna do some pasta and just mix some sauce in with it, sprinkle a little bit of cheese on, you know. Another bread, that's a bread. Because I it's so surprising how quick you go through it because you make sandwiches, beans on toast or something, you know, and it just yeah, go through it well if you like me anyway. Um, for 189 I got some ice creams. Yeah, I haven't had ice creams for a while, so I thought I'll get some of those. Um, I just realised I forgot milk. That's because I forgot to put it on the list. Um, I've still got a little bit, but if I run out, I can just go up the road and get, you know, get some. Right, um, I got half a lemon cake. I can have a little bit of cake with my cup of tea. Because tea and cake is never a mistake. Mm. Especially when you buy it with your own wages that you've uh, worked your ass off for. And again, with the money that um, going to work, going to Tesco's and serving the general public and um, earning a crust, you know, whilst having mental health. Um, yeah. And going to work, even though I'm currently not at work at the moment, yeah. Mm. Um, I mean, I know some people should think that I should just suck it up, but um, it's not that easy when you have mental health. So, uh, and if you end up suffering with mental health, and I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy, which some people, which some of you are, yeah, the ones that... Uh, um, you keyboard warriors that, um, and I've noticed the ones that always leave the RC messages, right, always um, leave the cunt comments that I like to call them, always I find that never have a profile picture, I never have a profile picture and I've thought about this and I think the reason why these people don't have a profile picture is because their face is clearly uglier than their attitude. So I'm looking forward to having some cookies later, which was £1.50. Mm. Chocolate chip cookies, that, which was bought with my money that I earn myself going out to work. And, um, and sometimes I do suck it up. I do. Mm. Sometimes why I go into work and then I probably like have a meltdown at work or, you know, or sometimes I'm right because I put on a painted smile. Um, right. Mango and dragon fruit, 149. Pop drink, if you please. Um, fish fingers, which I'm going to have with some beans. They were 175. How many is in there? Ten. Ten fish fingers in there. And then I've got a bacon super noodles. Mm, one of those. And then I've got pro 5 p some washing up liquid because I'm nearly low on washing up liquid. And couple of bags as well. I don't know how much they were. But I thought I'd get these. A great big massive fuck off bag. We've got prawn cocktail, three of each. Three of the salt and vinegar, three of the ready salted, three of the cheese and onion, 12 in a pack. They were five, they were 4.99. I was going to get the cheapy ones, but I thought, well, these will last me a while, so yeah, a fiver. And um, I can't remember how much it came to. But 
I'm it came to about £21 something for shopping mm. the shopping that I needed the things that I ran out of and um, yeah and the little treats that I got for myself that I am um, with the money that I earned mm. and um, and I'm taking off the gas and electric that um, I put on I put money on the gas and electric with the money that I earned from Tesco's um, and then I also paid the council tax as well um, yeah because also um, yes I am getting universal credits but um, uh, the universal credit was helping me to pay towards my rent. Um, but um, they've taken like some off, which is fair enough. And um, to pay towards, no, actually, no, sorry, tell a lie. No, the universal credit hasn't taken money off. It's council tax that have taken money off. So that's an extra more money out of my wages that I pay for the council tax. I would have paid for the rent. So, yeah. So, yeah. Not that I have to explain myself, but I feel it's necessary. Mm. So I'm going to go and sit and chill and I'm going to stuff my face. Yeah. Little socks is chilling. Chilling in the shade. Mm. another trip to the little shop I've got my Tesco's 
vouchers the other day, but I thought I'm not going to Tesco's today. Um, just can't be bothered. I'll wait till payday. Um, <coughs> I was just thinking, why do we have to eat? We'd be much, so much richer, wouldn't we? Just, uh, sounds like I'm moaning again because like, I don't know I think if we're not um, if we're not running out of money we're running out of food and then we just end up having to replace it again but I've got to put the gas and electric on I've got to do that Bung, bung a bit on the gas and electric. Um, I still haven't fathomed out how you take money out of the savings on utilita. So oh, that's the sun shining, reflecting. Um, yeah, I still haven't worked out how you uh, take the money out of the savings on utilita and put it on gas and electric, but. I'm just going to get some little top up bits for every like replacing oh anyway I'm going to shut up now ok so i got some crisps oh my eyes are watering I'm sweating out I bought some Pringles hopefully they will because when I buy the packets of crisps um, I just go through I just oh I'm a nightmare I can't just have one bag of crisps, I have about two or three at a time. So yeah, I'm a nightmare for food. Um, I eat myself out of house and home. You wouldn't think it was just me and the cat, would you? Anyway, so two lots of Pringles and I got the cheese and an onion. And I got the prawn cocktail one. They are £2.75 each. And um, that cat meat that you saw, um, the turkey and lamb, that was 89p. Luckily, I haven't got a fussy cat. He will just literally eat anything. He will eat anything that's left on my plate as well. So, um, salmon, that's 85p. And then we've got another 85p. And that's another salmon one. So, two salmons. Um, I just thought I'd get some sandwich filler as well. Um, some semi-skimmed milk. Hopefully that's not going to go off. I don't think their fridges are that cold because um, the milk I bought the other day, it went off the same day that I bought it. Yeah. Semi-skimmed milk. I can make myself a cup of tea now. I've got some uh, extra mature cheddar. This is, how much was this? 2 49 Oh, it's only 2 for £4. I didn't see that. Yeah, I went blind, didn't see, yeah. So I thought I'd make a Chisani. Then I bought some paste. I used to, I remember my mum making paste sandwiches for me for um, for home or just taking to school. Uh, I got a chicken paste and I got some beef paste. Yeah, I know. Um, some bread, because I'm always running out of bread, because making sandwiches, beans on toast, so I've got another white loaf, soft thick, hovist, and then for one nineteen, I bought some cherry aid, bought some pop drinks, some cherry aid, cherry aid. Then I bought this, I love this, this is a Vimto, I love Vimto anyway, 149 and this is the mango and dragon fruit, the dragon fruit, yeah dragon fruit, this is so nice, it's so lovely, so yeah, I did forget kitchen roll, and I forgot to go, I made up something, um, because on one side you've got the toilet rolls and then on the other side you've got the kitchen roll, and I thought I will go around and get the kitchen roll, but then I was distracted by all the snacks, all the goodies, like you do. Like so, I thought I'd get some, these are the cheap version of Cornettos. 
Um, I always buy the, the cheap version, well I don't always buy them, but the cheap version of Magnums. One eighty nine, and you get four in those, so they're the strawberry ones. We like an ice cream, don't we? Some more pasta. So I've still got some sauce, so I can do, so it's not all crap. I have bought some meals, so I will do something with these. I've got some... I've got some peppers left over, I've got some onions left over, I've got some cucumber left over, so I can just mix some like mayonnaise in that with those and just make a pasta salad, yeah. So one forty nine. I thought it was dearer than that, I thought it was two pounds, but I'm not moaning. And then of course it'd be rude not to, because when you're having tea, you've got to have biscuits with them. These are £1.25 for custard creams. Thought that was really good to get two layers in there. And then you get for one twenty-five again bourbons. I used to hate these as a child. And do you know these are penguins? You know the chocolate penguins? So yeah, these are penguins but with chocolate on. If anyone didn't know that, yeah because I saw somebody mount a penguin in the microwave to see if it was actually a bourbon and it was but I could actually I could just tell it was a bourbon covered in chocolate you can just taste it you can just you know yeah powder I bloody love the stuff my bathroom is looking like um like it's been snowing in there um yeah I do love powder I'm a bugger for powder. Um, I swear by it because, like, if you've got like um, like rashes and that, you know, um, <clears throat> my ones. Um, yeah, a little update on my rash. Yeah, um, so it's cleared up in places, but it's sort of, you know, coming out again here and there, like a few spots and stuff. But I swear by this because it just dries your skin up and it just dries it up. So it takes a bloody long time, but yeah. And to prove that I've not just bought crap, I have gone and paid the bills as well. Yeah, gas and electric. So, yeah. So, I am going to make myself a snack. I'm going to make myself a sandwich, make myself a cup of tea, have a drink. And then I'm going to sit and chill and catch up with my soaps. And I want to thank each and every one of you for all your lovely um, messages that you've sent. And um, I don't like calling you subscribers because you're more than that. You just, you know, you're more than subscribers because we get to know each other and we've known each other for so long. And, you know, and you're such a massive big part of my channel. And, you know, and you've just sort of taken me into your lives as well. You know, you no, you notice how much of a nice person I am and you know and and Soxy, Soxy's a big part of the channel, Sylvia although she's not here in person she was a big part of the channel, even Arthur he was you know he made a guest appearance sometimes um but you just I don't know you just I don't know it's like it's like watching a soap and you know and just like and just really taking that character into you know look at myself look at me bigging myself up you know a character and you just take them into your lives and just you know what I mean and just um and you just you're more than subscribers you're you're not only friends you are family you really are and I hope you know how much you know that means to me how much you are my family because you know I can get on the phone to friends and no disrespect to my friends I can get on the phone to my friends and say look I'm having a bad day this is how I'm feeling you know um some things I don't know pissed me off at work or I don't know or something something or someone's pissed me off or I'm having a sort of a weird day and I just thought I need to just come on here and talk to you guys you know because you know because I know how much you care about me because you want to know what's going on in my life you know is more than just a shopping haul. I can just show you what I've bought, you know, and say I bought this, this, and this. This is how much it was. Right, see you later, guys. Bye, you know. But it's more than that, you know. Um, and 
you know, and you just, you're always there to give the best advice, you know, you, you pick me up when I'm feeling down, you know, and although we've not met each other in person, but you're just, you're always there, always, always there, and I just, mwah, I just love the bones of you all, I really do, and your advice, um, just, oh, it really does help, it just lifts me up, it really does, you know, if I'm having a down day, if I'm feeling depressed of anything, if like, I don't know, the rash has flared up or a bill's come in or something, you know, and I'm, I know I'm not the only person that gets bills and rashes and bloody Christ knows what, you know, and, you know, and running out of money and food, you know, we're all in the same boat, so I'm not playing that, you know, like, oh, woe is me, you know, but um, I read your messages and I read them, you know, word, word for word and, you know, and it just builds me up again it really does you know um and the advice that you're given thank you honestly so much and it honestly truly truly does really does mean a lot thank you honestly right so i'm gonna put me stuff away put me milk away and socks has been playing silly buggers he goes he goes to the front door i open it and then he walks away and then he goes to the front door again so he's done that to me about five times t to me today so um and i'm like yeah you're just playing silly buggers aren't you yeah so i think he wants to go out now so let's see yeah he gets fed up with the back garden so yeah kept you waiting long enough and i hey the din dins you had your morning feed uh seven o'clock so yes, I'm back again with another shopping haul. More shopping, I know. Oh, that's what we seem to spend our whole lives do, you know. Um, I'm taking ten pound off the bill because I did put five on gas and five on electric. Um, turns out I didn't go all into my wages, so I did get um. So all bills are paid. God, hair's a mess. And um, he. You've got some bickies, haven't you? Yeah, but we've run out of meat meat, didn't we, for you? Yeah. So, um, it's probably going to look like I've just bought crap, which I have. I've just, what I've done, until I get up to Tesco's and, because I'm just feeling a bit anxious today, I didn't really fancy a big supermarket, you know, and... And I didn't really fancy going to my Tesco's. People, oh, how are you doing? You know, I know they mean well. You know, like asking how I am, and you know, and and oh, you found a found a place, yeah. And I'll, you know, um. So yeah, I just couldn't face. So I just went to my little top shop up the road. Um, they haven't really got um meals, you know, stuff. It's all like yeah. So I just so it does look like I've just I have bought crap basically but I've just just to see me through I've just bought snacky bits for now just so I can you know go to Tesco's and um get um um you know a proper shop some meals and that and this is just snacky bits so I can just so I'm not running out of food completely so right let's get you so the first thing I've got 89p, some meaty chunks, turkey and lamb. So here we go. What's this? Is it your tin tins, darling? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, right, come on then. Tin foil for the uh, to put over the cat meat. Ta da! That's one cat meat. Right. Oh, 
where are we guys? Okay. Manumi. <laughs> Do this is that's me. He's hanging there. Hey, hey. You see yourself. Hmm? Hmm. What's the matter? There was. Go on then. That's a good boy. Right, so I'm back again and um here's a mess again. I'm gonna be making one of my famous omelets and uh yeah, I've got my cheese I'm about to grate. Just got um I've got grated cheese but I just fancied this is um extra strong cheese so I just thought um so yeah, I'm gonna grate some, yeah. I'm not being lazy for a change. Using really grated cheese. I'm gonna grate some cheese and put them in my omelette. And I've got the salad over here ready. Um, a cucumber, onions, and one pepper. So I'm gonna have um, an omelette, a cheese omelette with salad. So I think I'm starving. Um, it's evening. Yeah, do this. Um, that noise in the background you can hear is the dryer. I've just got the um, rest of the clothes drying. Um, and then sit down and catch up with my soaps. Yeah, that's it. See you in a bit.
Just preparing my some of my salad. I've got my onions here. I'm gonna have some So I don't have any oil, um, so I'm going to have to use some butter for some The reason I haven't got any oil is because, <coughs> so a couple of months ago, but Three, four months ago, one of my neighbours asked me if he could buy me. Um, one of my neighbours start again. Now. One of my neighbours asked me on payday if I could buy him some cheap chips, and I did. And they've been in my freezer for about four months, nearly. And then he ended up going out and buying loads of shopping himself anyway. So he'd need me, so he didn't really need me to buy the chips. Yeah, so I bought a big bag of chips for nothing. So I was hungry, so I thought, well, I'll open them and, and make... And make some chips. Put the oil in, wait till it was all hot and what have you. Done it right. And they were all like mushy and horrible. I think they were just cheap chips and they were just they were just gross. They all stuck to the pan and they were just oh they were disgusting. Um so I ended up having to throw them all out, so yeah, I know it's a waste but I'm not gonna eat them so so that was a whole bottle of bloody oil I had to bloody use, so hence why using the butter. 
Right, so this hasn't gone very well. Um, I've ended up with a scrambled egg instead to the pan. So I've got a scrambled egg rather than omelette, but oh well, never mind. It's still gonna taste nice. Right, so I'm just gonna chop up my pepper. Scrambled egg omelette. Mm. And I think I'm going to leave that in the soak. I think. Mm. That's it. Right.
again and um so see where oh he's off out he's off out yeah dirty little stuff out he's had his had his din dins yeah um yeah i'm about to do some dinner i oh God. slept in late that was the uh the uh cupboard door uh yeah i look all right now but at um Give you a little update of what's going on. I just uh, got some more bits that I run out because you know you're always running out of things. Bought the same old crap again. Um, I left me, uh, yeah, that's disgusting. Left me frying pan in soak because I tried to do an omelette the other day, didn't have no oil, so I improvised to use butter and it turned into scrambled egg and then it just yeah failed miserably so i've got some i'm going to pause you for a second because i'm dying for a wee i'm just gonna come with me um so yeah i've just got a few bits that i've run low on and some more bickies for soxy because he's run out so so the first thing i got was a powder another powder i'm always going through this I know, I can't believe I, I bought one just the other day. I only had six pound. Because where I run out of oil, um, I had to use my butter and I'm getting low on that. So I thought for a chain, how much were those biscuits? Um, the biscuits I think were two pounds something, I think. two. 229 not sure um for 119 i've got ugly buckley but i'll get some ugly buckley for a change no. um then i've got some sparkling fruit punch for 179 their drinks are really cheap up there i think that's quite reasonable i've still got some cherry aid left um so yeah i've got some sparkling mixed fruit for 179 Some oil I've just I've really craving a omelette I really just fancied a nice cheese omelette that's the thing I forgot to put on the list I forgot to put cheese on the list I've still got a little bit of grated cheese so it's not too bad so I've got some what did I get sunflower oil that was two pounds something 229 that's a bit dear for that little thing I thought it'd be one pound something but Hey ho. So some oil. Oh, I'll better leave that out actually because I, I need that. <coughs> Another cat meat. This is 85p. This is the meat 
chunks in jelly and that's the salmon one. I got, I think I got five eggs left, but I thought I'll get some, like get some more just so I can um, Your life matters. You are valuable. You were made for such a time as this. You can get past this. Don't turn it off. Listen, I know what you're thinking. I've been there before. Oh, sorry, I switched you off there because um, I uh, had a notif notification. Notification. Um, so yeah, I accidentally switched it off. I tried to swipe it and yeah. Um, so yeah, 15 eggs so I can make some uh, omelets. Make some omelets with. And then last but not least, some more bread. So I can make some sandwiches, beans on toast and what have you. So yeah. So I got some bread. Yeah. Did get a couple of bags. These are always handy. I use them for bin bags or poo bags, whatever. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Right, they're always quite handy for yeah all different things bin bags and that yeah so it is what time is it 10 to 10 10 to 10 and um, i've been a lazy ass today i um spent most of it in bed but i will explain i will yeah <clears throat> right, so I'm just going to put the rest of this away. I'm going to just uh, cook me something to eat and then um, sit and chill and then talk to you guys in a bit. So I'll see you in a bit. Mm. <laughs> I'm just making my way to the doctors, cutting through the park. Um, 
just to pick up uh, my sick note, well fit note. Nice. Right, I'm going to explain everything when I get back home. Um, I was going to say, um, oh, I'm rushing because it's it's ten to six, and they close at six o'clock. Although it's only five minutes away, my house is somewhere over there. It's just across the road from me. So, so I'll see you guys in a bit when I get home. You know. Get that nice. Right, back again. Oh, I mean, right. Oh, let's, let's sit this way, so I'm not facing the sun. Another little feather. Loads. Right. right, so I thought I'd just give you guys a little update. How I'm getting on. Um, <clears throat> so my fit note um, was meant to run out on the 9th of September and Universal Credit my new shorts. Right. Um, okay, right, back. <coughs> okay, so, um, right, let's think. <coughs> so, um, my fit note that Universal Credit wanted um, for, they wanted for like three months um, to prove that like my history of mental health and my capability to work that I do 13 hours and, you know, um, that's that I can work but can't work any more than 13 hours because the anxiety, just longer shifts, just, just, yeah, don't sit well with me, you know. Um, and if anyone out there has anxiety, and I know one of my good friends, Gemma, you know, she was doing long hours once and just 
wasn't for her, you know, it caused her bad anxiety and, um, yeah, anyway, um, so yeah, it was dated from, uh, July to September, um, that fit note for Universal Credits and, um, in it for three months which I uploaded to onto my um, Universal Credit Journal and um, then I just I don't know just hit rock bottom everything just got on top and I thought well I'm gonna take some time out of work because you know some people were saying oh you know it's no good sitting at home wallowing you know and I'm um, you know and they not everybody but some people at work they just added to it you know you know, coming out with things like, oh, you're going to be homeless, you're going to be out on the street, and I'm like, I don't really want to be hearing that, thank you very much. You know, it's all been sorted out with council and orbit, I'm on top of the bills, you know, um, my cat's being fed, well, you know, he's in no harm, you know, so, and, you know, as long as that I'm on top of the bills, then I'm fine, you know, it's just taking a long process. And anyway, I'm going off the subject now, so, um, so they, yeah, so I would go into work and they would just, and they would just be telling you off of the most stupidest bloody things, you know, and like, I don't know, just little bloody things, you know, and um, it was just getting on my nerves. I just wanted a break, you know, a week wasn't enough. I just wanted a break from that place and just, um, anyway, the doctors said that the fit note that I got for Universal Credit also covers me for work as well. Anyway, so I handed in that fit note to work, to my manager, and they said that we can't accept the fit note because it's a capability to work fit note. It's basically saying that you're capable to do some hours where I wasn't going into work at all. I was off for a month. So I filled out an e-console. I phoned the doctors this morning and I said, you know, and I explained it to them. I said that, you guys wouldn't give me another fit note because I've already got an ongoing fit note already but um, that's for universal credit to show that my capability to work I can only do a few hours can't do any more than 13 you know and that yes you know I do have a history of mental health and you know your son um, um, but I needed a fit note for work to say that I can't come into work. So they've, so it's all sorted now. It's all sorted. Um, as for the rash, um, you know, cause I, I didn't tell anyone at work. I was a bit embarrassed. Um, it's on its best behavior at the moment. It's calmed down. There's a few spots, you know, so it's looked like it's fading, but I don't want to get my hopes up because this has happened to me before. It's faded. And then all of a sudden it's flared up again, you know, so, so far so good. Oh, little butterfly, little butterfly, oh, missed it. Um, but when it's calmed down, it's good. I can move about, you know, like now I've come up here, you know, and it may look like, well, he's all right. He's just walked from his house to the doctor's, you know, it's five minutes away. But when the rash, like, because is a stress rash and you know it causes it's so fucking painful to the point i cannot walk properly i just have to sit down or lay down well lay down on my bed and i can't do anything because i just cannot move and i have to just literally wriggle off my bed um the only time i will struggle to go downstairs because i have to and i want to to feed soxy because i can't let him go without food do you know what I mean yeah so um uh so Saturday I was on and on about going to going out going to the carnival and, and stuff but I didn't go and um the remake of Twister was on at the cinema on Sunday I went to a friend's house on Saturday and just sat there um and I just couldn't get into the film, the remake um, of yeah. So Twisters, it it was it was okay, it was all right. But I was just feeling emotional and I was crying. And then 
got halfway through the film and my friend said, oh, come on, you know, come on, let's go. Cause, you know, I said, no, you, you've paid for the seats, you know, and I've, um, and I've got some sweets and popcorn, you know, to treat her, to say thank you for, you know, taking me out. And I said, yeah, but it's a waste of an evening. She said, no, 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 no. And I was going to go back and I didn't want to be on my own. So she said, come and sit around mine. And I just ended up breaking down and, um, because my manager was on the phone and she was saying about how like my percentage is high and my warnings and what have you and so I felt pressure to go back but I wasn't ready I wasn't you know I hadn't prepared myself you know and then like my uniform wasn't washed and then I was just like you know I don't know just I think you just you just know when you're ready you know and I just um yeah I'm just feeling really low again and like but you know but I've got my fit note and he said um, that you know the mental health is getting worse and you know and struggling to get round and, and that, yeah so yeah mm. it's nice I'm the only one up here I'm glad that I've because normally I'll just come up here, walk around for about a minute, and then go to the doctors, and then back home again. Uh, yeah, I've got my fit note now, and fingers crossed, my rash behaves itself, and I can get around, and I'm even fit, I'm even feeling like, you know, oh, because I'm talking about it. I know I don't look upset, but I don't know, I'm just... It's question. It's making me question my mental health because, no disrespect, and I don't mean this to sound how it's going to sound, but because I've got my arm in a sling or my leg in plaster, I'm not wheeling myself around in a, in a, you know, in a wheelchair or <sighs> mental health is just. It's so easy to just say it, you know. Yeah, I get it, and I, I do, and you know. Um. It's so easy to just say, I've got mental health, you know, but but people that don't, you know, that don't have it, I find, but there are some people that don't have it, but they will understand you because they like you, they see your genuineness, you know, um, but there's some people, I mean, I'm not mentioning any names, you know, I'm, you know, and I don't mean this horribly, but a good friend of mine, she recently broke up with her partner and he really didn't get her anxiety it was he was sort of you know sort of oh you're making it an excuse you know and people that don't have it that don't understand it I find that some of those people don't want to understand it and so they come out with comments like oh suck it up I'll get over it you know you'll be all right but it's not as it's not as easy as that it is it is hard it is hard, it is. Yeah. And I know we're all in the same boat. I don't mean to sound like, oh, get get your violins out, oh, boy, is me, you know, because we are. But I've been having cuddles with my Soxy, so, yeah. Um, but um, before I... Um, thank you all and um thank you for watching and thank you for all your all your love and support honestly thank you for all your love and support thank you next week i'm out and about out gallivanting it's um i'm going to be in margate i'm going to be yeah it's pride in margate hmm. um yeah margate kent so I'm going to be videoing some of that. I'm going to make up a little picnic. Um, one of the clubs there, it's £15 to get in. And I thought, fuck that, you know, by the time you buy, bought the drinks. So we're just going to get some pop drinks, little snacky bits. There's a big, like, greeny garden there. A little bit like that, obviously. Um, yeah, without that. And we're just going to, like, just sit and... Yeah, and have a little picnic and just enjoy the music and just, yeah, and enjoy Pride. Mm. LGBTQ. Mm. 
and if you ever do hear me say gay pride I do apologize it's because years it's been called gay pride and I say it out of habit so if I I don't want to offend anyone so please 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 if I do say pride you know I'm not saying it to piss people off I'm not it's just the habit I'm sorry um oh, can you hear the old birdies flapping around in the in the trees I love it yeah I'm gonna miss this bloody street. I am honestly. I'm gonna miss this street that I that I live in. As I've lived in here, what for thirty two, nearly thirty three years. But onwards and upwards. I'm looking forward to my new flat when I do eventually get it. Um. And I'll take you round, like, you know, saying, oh, this is my new flat, this is my bathroom, this is my kitchen, and all that, you know. <sighs> yeah. My friend Carol said, we'll make it exciting. Yeah, so, yeah. Um. So, Saturday, um, so, Margate Pride. I'm going to be wearing my new clothes. I'm wearing my pink top and white shorts. I'm wearing my new clobber. And then Sunday, um, meeting up with my friend Gemma. We're going to sandwich and we're having a picnic. So I'll be recording that. So it'll be um, my weekend with Martin. Um, and no doubt Soxy will be making a guest appearance as well. Mm. Right, so I'm out of here, guys. Um, and you take care. Um, and I hope you're all well and I hope you have a really nice uh, week and um, I just want to say um, just a massive huge thank you honestly just for supporting me you know who you are honestly you know just thank you so much and it really does I really do appreciate it it really means a lot to me that you know you're standing up for me sticking up for me and, and you, you've got my back so well, I'll see you later guys. Take care. See you later. Mm. Mm. Too old for all that malarkey now. <laughs>